I'm your host Dan Rojas and I'm standing next to a almost six foot in diameter dish that is made up of six different pieces. Now the nice thing about the multiple piece concept with this is that something like this can easily be shipped versus the other 56 inch mirrors that we had that were virtually impossible to ship with that expensive freight. These break up into six pieces. Now, this dish you don't take apart. Once you put it together, it's a done deal. They come in pieces. It is not an easy thing to put together. It's not really hard, but it took me about three hours to do. I did it my first try with no problems. I came up with two different concepts to actually put these pieces together because while they fit perfect, they're actually molded from a very, very precise mold and everything fits perfect. This is acrylic, by the way. Now, I'm gonna show you a close-up of this. Right now, the surface looks to be about a 60% reflection. A lot of people will ask me about putting aluminum foil on dishes, that sort of thing. Well, this right here is about a 60% mirror. This is not, um, this will do stuff. I mean, this will do work, but this is actually the protective layer that we put on all of our acrylic mirrors. We peel this back. It actually reveals the beautiful high night or 90% plus reflection. You can see that that's actually really, really nice. Now, because of the molding process with this, there are some imperfections in the mirror. It's not perfect. Um, you just really can't get these perfect based on the way that this mold was made. But this is a very, very, very powerful mirror, and it's a true parabolic shape. So whenever the sun comes out, we've been cloaked in clouds for the past week and a half. Whenever the sun comes out, what I'm going to do is get this out and test it and see what we can come up with. I'll show you these. Uh, woo, a lot of static electricity in there. Ow! As you can see, you can see the process. There's a few little dinghies here and there. This is um, a second surface mirror, by the way. The mirrored surface is behind the acrylic. Not sure if you can see that, but there's a few little imperfections, and then they both. They've got this uh, line down the middle with, for the curve. And here's the back side of them. By the way, that black paint, I did that. I was testing different acrylic paints. They have a really good uh, finishing surface on them. You can actually put an additional couple layers of white acrylic on this to give it a better option. There's a few bolting options that I came up with to put this together. It's actually a better way that I did a video on, but um, anyways. Let's see, we got, we're roasting the stick. Now you notice a little bit slower, but it's over a much larger area. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. Ooh.